Hi, my name is Jill Langton and welcome to the Creative Hand Art Journal. Today I'm going to be painting a candle in honor of all the holidays. The Jewish people celebrate Hanukkah and they use eight candles. And Christmas, we celebrate Christmas with the light of the Lord. So, um, I'm hoping people who celebrate Kwanzaa also have candles. I didn't research that to find out for sure. But today, in spreading the light, I'm going to be using a fan brush. And I loaded it up quite a lot with paint. And then you just kind of push off and let the light go where it will. Actually, you have to be very light strokes, otherwise you end up with a very dark, solid mass of light, but that's alright too. It adds interest to your candle and what we're doing, so that looks very good. Then I'm um, going to use some pink around the top for a little highlight on my candle. Pink is a lighter shade of red. And that's what color I'm doing the candle, is this real red. Actually it's a metallic folk art, which I also found in the craft section um, at the store. And this will give a glossy finish to the candle and to the holly berries. I hope everybody's ready for Christmas if they celebrate Christmas. My husband and I went out the day after Thanksgiving and were able to find the gifts we wanted to give to our grandchildren very easily, which I thought was quite the blessing. Uh, granted, I can't say what we got because they might be watching this. I still have to get something for my husband. I'm not exactly sure what. I find men are so hard to shop for. They either have everything they want or they know what they want in particular. And uh, like tools, I wouldn't know what on earth to get for a tool. Or for their hobbies, photographing and doing films. It's like, what do you buy for film or accessories to cameras it's very hard for me to figure out so I don't bother just go and get a gift card and call it good I know that's a cheating way but it works works for me anyway Right now I'm thinking I should have Christmas music playing instead of the jazz ensemble we've got going, but that's alright. It is what it is, as long as we get a painting done today. Doing the holly berries red. We even have mistletoe up in one of our major hallways. that. It's an entrance way, so everybody has to walk under it. It's kind of fun. So that was light yellow and metallic red. Now I'll be using real green for the holly leaves, which I already have out of my palette. 
just need to wash my brush really clean. I find holly leaves are really intricate. I'm trying to get them to look real. what I think I'm going to do first is to highlight the leaves with yellow. That way there I can go over that with green and it won't be an issue afterwards. I'm trying to think where the light would hit the leaves. Just finishing up the last touches on my holly leaves and decided that I wanted highlights so I put yellow where I think the light is going to be hitting my leaves. And so, know about you but I know I need a lot of light in the winter time in the northeast here we're in the darkest time of the year which is actually today the 21st is the shortest day of the year from this point onward we're going to be getting more light in our days so yay can't wait And just like there was light in the picture, I have to have dark. So the shadows underneath, I'm using black and putting shadow where the light doesn't hit. And this is actually giving my painting quite an abstract design quality to it because I don't want to put the black right up under the leaf to lose the shape of the leaf but uh, I do still want to show that there's black shadow so I'm leaving this little bit of white around each leaf when you stand back away from your painting afterwards it will emphasize each one and it'll have quite the design to be looking at and I hope you'll be very pleased with what you've done I love painting Today we went to the store and into craft section and I went and I splurged on all sorts of colors and uh, can't wait to try them out. For me painting is a daily event. I have been working more on abstract designs and I have a system and I actually think it's exceedingly fun. You need to do things fun so that life doesn't get boring and monotonous. So I'm glad you're with me today watching how to paint, what to paint, paint what you want I mean, I was going to do this big collage or montage, whatever you would like to call it, about the holidays using the menorah as well as the mother and child figure and then have all the words for Kwanzaa 
which are unity, self, determination, collective representation, corporation, cooperation, economy, purpose, creativity, and faith. But on this small piece of paper, I don't think I would have been able to get all those words. So, I'm hoping a candle does represent every single holiday. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. I'm just about done with this painting. Just putting in the last touches of the black. And there you have it, today's painting. Candle for the symbolization of light that comes into the world now at this season. So, Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, and Happy Kwanzaa to you. Bye!